To set up the Solid Edge floating licensing, the first stage is to go into the um, Solid Edge DVD and auto start. And the first thing you'll need to do is to install the dongle driver. And then once that is completed, install the license manager. The license manager should get set up into a directory on the C drive called SE Flex. And in there, there'll be a folder called program. Now that the license manager is installed, so it being SE Flex program, as I said, the license file that you have received, SE license.dat, will uh, need to be copied into this folder and you'll need to edit it so you first need to just double check by right mouse clicking on P, uh, this pc go to properties and get the computer name which is listed here and if you edit that license file in a notepad you need to change the bit that says this host with the name of the computer and then you save that Then you can run um, LM Tools, which is this one here, lmtools.exe. And you need to set that um, your config services are set up. So this uses LMGRD, so you need to make sure that that is cleared through the firewall. And there is another one called um, the uh, SELMD.exe as well. They need to be allowed through the firewall, which I'll show you in a minute. You need to make sure that the server is set to start on power up and that you want to use services. So um, you need to also make sure that configuration uses, uh, using services is set up here. This should point to the file that you've just edited. And if not, you can browse for it. And then you save the service. Then if you move into the start, stop, reread, you can start server. And that should come up with a message saying that the license file, uh, the license server has started successfully. If at a later date you want to come in and um, once you've got this set up, you may find that you've changed the license file, you've got a new license file, um, you can stop the server, restart it, and reread the license file and that um, generates all the correct information for you. Hoping that that the um, error message doesn't um, come up. Then to double check, you can go into server status and perform a status inquiry. So this should tell you that the um, license file is the one that you believe it is and the daemon for the license server is up. And then it should list the licenses that you have active um, within the license file. So in this case, we've got two licenses of Solid Edge Foundation and one license of Solid Edge Classic. And this tells me that um, we have one available, none in use to available of the foundation and none in use again. So once you start using Solid Edge, this will change to um, indicate that um, it is then set up correctly and who is using it. The final stage is to make sure that, as I said, these two uh, um, exe files are allowed through the firewall. So if you come in here and you type in firewall and then you want to choose the um, allow an app through the firewall and from here you go change settings 
allow that. Browse through to the SEClex program directory and choose LMGID and add that in. And then also you will need to add SELMD.exe and add that one in as well. So these need to be um, public apps. And once you've done that, you should be set to run the um, license file. So this license file that you've edited needs to be copied across to the um, client PC. You can, you can run the um, Solid Edge license util utility and say that you have a license file and point it to this file. Or you can simply copy it into the um, program files Siemens Solid Edge preferences folder. And that then says that it needs to look at this server, so the computer name, and request a license file. As long as none of the license files are checked out, it will then check out a license file. If you want to, um, from the client side, edit the license file, if you've got different types of licenses, you can take out one that you don't want. So if you want one user to use the foundation license and not the classic, you can remove this from the license file on the client PC. Likewise, um, if you wanted them to use the classic, you'd remove the foundation license information that way. It's only looking for a classic license and you can force it to go to a certain person. So hopefully this clears up how to use the license manager with Solid Edge.